They relieved the palms of their branches as the people's palms grasped and then brandished those leafy emblems of both festival and rebellion. These were a people who felt as though they had already spent their second, third, and last chances on zealots, men like Barabbas and that now famous Maccabean. But this Jesus, this new champion, was riding into Jerusalem on a donkey as Zechariah had envisioned him. This king was coming to daughter Zion to take the wicked Roman chariots away from Ephraim. Surely this Jesus was the one to bring God's people salvation. Surely he was the one pictured all across the prophet's hopeful panorama. So they shouted, save us please. They cried, Hosanna, Hosanna. And this Jesus would answer yes to their cry of save us, save us. But not in the way they expected. Not by the violent overthrow predicted by their palmy political propaganda. For the humility of that donkey was nothing compared to the way he would answer their shouts of Hosanna. For the path on which he rode took him not to a throne, but to a court. Not to a place fit for a heavenly king, but to the feet of an earthly lord. It was there, before another crowd, in the hands of Pilate, whom God endowed with the power to answer the shouts rising loud, demanding crucifixion for this man who was so recently avowed as Hosanna by those who had laid down a pathway of both palm branch and personal shroud. It was there that he would show how he would answer both crowds both the Hosanna save us cry and the incessant crucify. For what was missed by each tribe, by those who cried out their Hosanna boast and those who cried that this man should be nailed upon two posts, is that Jesus would say no to neither request. Instead, he would say yes to both. In fact, he would accomplish salvation by such infliction. He would be Hosanna by undergoing crucifixion. He would say yes to cries of love and yes to cries of hate. And for us, it is good news that he answered this way. For we too cry Hosanna. We too need to be saved. But we also cry crucify him. We also are filled with hate. We need to be rescued from our evil, but when goodness comes to us, we take what is good and by our evil, hang it on a cross. But this is how he saves us. This is how he loves us. He answered our cry of need and our cry of hate with one final yes poured out as he cried so that the sin that put him on the cross he paid for as he died and the salvation for which we asked by his yes he supplied. So come lay down your branches and come lift up your palms for the king of our salvation said yes to the night of death so that he could raise the light of dawn.